you're not expected to know the conversions between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Like that's not something you have to memorize. And the only reason why I can really say that with confidence is because again, this is an entry level test. So they're not gonna expect you guys to know things that are uncommon, okay? You guys don't have to memorize things that are uncommon. The average person can't tell you the conversion between Celsius and Fahrenheit because it's, it's an equation that most, most people don't know average. All right, so let's say if we have 20 degrees Fahrenheit and we want to change that to degrees Celsius. All right, so anytime I go from Fahrenheit to Celsius, the equation is C is equal to 5 ninths times F minus 32. All right, so if they ask you guys to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius, again, you guys do not have to memorize this formula. They will give it to you because this is not a common formula. So when things are uncommon, especially when we talk about conversions or any type of formulas, it's going to be given to you. Some people have the big misconception that you guys aren't given any formulas for this test, and that's just not true. All right, so when you convert from Celsius, <laughs> when you convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius, what you're going to do is you're going to take whatever value they give you for Fahrenheit, and you're going to substitute it in for the F here in the equation, and then you're going to solve. Don't let this 5 nice throw you off because... At this point, if you've been studying for a while, you should know how to multiply fractions, so it shouldn't be something that really bothers you like that. All right, so we have 5 ninths, parentheses, so we're going to substitute in our 20 for our F. So we're going to say 20, and we're going to say minus 32. All right, and then we're just going to solve. So you always do what's in parentheses first, because you always want to make sure you go, in your, um, go with your order of operations. So we know that 20 minus 32 gives us a negative 12. All right. And I just do 5 nines times negative 12. So I can put 12 over 1. So I can do 5 and 12, which is 60. 9 and 1, which is 9. And if I do 60 divided by 9, that gives me what? Negative 6.7 degrees Celsius. All right, so again, anytime you guys are converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius, they'll give you the equation. You take the Fahrenheit value that they give you, you substitute it in, you complete what's in parentheses first, and then you multiply by five ninths, okay? And if you're in a position to where you get, still get freaked out when you see fractions, that means that that's a sub hill that you guys So again, if you guys are still freaking out when you see fractions, that's a sub skill that you need to go back and master um, so that you're able to successfully execute them. All right, so let's turn it around and let's go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So let's say if I have 15 degrees Celsius and I want to figure out what, how many degrees Fahrenheit that is, I know Fahrenheit is going to be nine-fifths or Oh, All right, so here we're still here with the fraction. So Fahrenheit is going to be equal to 9 fifths times the degree Celsius plus 32. So again, we're going to take our 15 and we're going to substitute it in for C. And we're going to go ahead and rewrite it. So we're going to say 9 fifths. So it's 32. So from here to here, we're just substituting our values. That's why I like to stack my work so I can see how I progress. So in the event that I make a mistake, I'm able to go back and fix it. All right, so if we do 9 fifths times 15, we put 15 over 1, we go top, top, bottom, bottom. So 9 times 15 is what? 135 and 5 times 1 is 5 plus 32. So we do 135 divided by 5, which is what? 27. And then 27 plus 32 is what? 59. So 59 degrees. 
All right, so again, if they give you a conversion from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit, they will give you guys the formula. The only thing you have to do is give in the value, whatever value they give you, you substitute it in. You just make sure you're doing your math correctly. So if you, if you cannot get through this problem without an issue, then more than likely your problem has to delve in operations with fractions, multiplying fractions. You need to go back and practice that sub skill so that you make sure you can master it. All right, so those were just some of the questions that I've kind of been getting that are common. So if you guys um, have problems with certain questions, I'll go over them um, in videos. Just kind of give you guys an idea of how to answer them. I don't really like answering so much in the comments only because I'm more of a visual person. Like, I know that people like to see how things are done. So, again, um, if you have not had a chance to purchase the book, I'm offering free shipping all weekend until Sunday at 1159. It's no code necessary when you guys purchase on the website, and I'll add the link to this video as well so you guys are able to see it. Um, thank you guys so much for participating. If anybody has any questions about anything, feel free to drop it on the wall or inbox me, and I'll make sure I get it to you guys. Tomorrow I will do part two and part three of solving equations in one variable, and we will go from there. So thank you guys so much for your time. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you.